Okay, it's June something, 5th or 6th. I should go look. Cut. June 9th, of course. Um, we're going to go look at the pumpkin patch out behind me. We've got our uh, sugar pie pumpkins and our weeby little jack-o'-lantern uh, like miniature pumpkins. And we also have our giant pumpkins and our giant uh, vegetables. And the giant pumpkin is just about to lay down. So today we're going to look at how to lay down a giant pumpkin. All right, we're gonna take a look at the field. Here we are looking, it's all starting in seed trays. <laughs> we are doing some direct seeding, but for us, we don't have a large irrigation system and it's a lot easier to make sure we get the seeds to sprout in seed cups or in trays. So these guys, as they get just a little bit bigger and their first leaf comes out, it's going in. <clears throat> You can see you got the row right there done. And again, these are the, gonna be used come October 1st for uh, end of November, October for eating sugar pie pumpkins. But here, here down this row, um, see it's at the edge of the field, we just kinda took the last few rows and mulched them with straw and uh, have that electric net fence up but that is gonna get moved out and the giant the giant alley is down here and this guy is a giant field pumpkin I think those are both giant field pumpkins these first two giant butternut squash giant green squash which is like a giant pumpkin but just green and then there's a giant marrow we'll go look okay this is the giant butternut never done it before i think we got to break 19 pounds for our own personal um hawaii state record somewhere in there excuse me if i'm wrong you let me know what the answer is if somebody watches this but anyway uh Yep, yeah. well, so you can see it's definitely a squash type leaf. This is one slot down at giant green squash. And for you, those of you guys who aren't really, whoa, just sunk into the soil, can't go that way. For those of you guys who aren't familiar with uh, giant vegetables, the vegetable has to be orange to be a pumpkin. And if it has too much green in it, it's considered a squash. So this is uh, <clears throat> from a green squash genetics. It's a giant, it was a 800 pound. Um, one more down. This is the giant marrow, another new vegetable to us this year. Uh, I don't even know if there is one we have to beat for our state record here in Hawaii, but uh, Anyhow, the vine is healthy. It's already running. You can see it It just laid down and it's running. And uh, real pretty, pretty leaf with a silvering, but a lot like a, again, a squash, zucchini style leaf. That's an exciting one. And then this is the last one I have for this video. We'll look at this guy right here. This is the Atlantic Giant Pumpkin. I'm not sure how many days old it is. I'll try to put it in the comments or something. Uh, <clears throat> no, that's not a rat's nest underneath my plant. Let's go take up a, a look up close what's going on. Okay, my last clip failed. So it's about three hours later in the day. I don't know if anyone's going to tell, but... I'm gonna to try to wrap up. The uh, clips program is messing with me. I'm gonna to have to figure this out here. I don't know why it keeps doing this. If I don't uh, move it around or anything for a minute, it just shuts off on me. But here we go. Okay, hopefully it stays going. So the we're on the side of this hill <clears throat> and the pumpkin's gonna to run down towards that electric net fencing. And so to try to 
to really look at this, what we've got going on is that main chute is coming out. That's the lead of the pumpkin. And we need to get it laid down on the ground. And with the exaggerated slope we have here, uh, combined with the natural pumpkin shooting straight up towards the sky, it, it's got a long way to lay down and we don't want it to go down all at once because it could crack the vine behind it. So to lay that down, I piled up a bunch of straw uh, underneath there. And it's getting hot enough. I'll kind of move in here. You guys can see it shooting out there. But um, it's moving down. So what we're gonna do over the process of the next few days is I'm gonna get my bamboo skewers out. Let me remove this. Okay, so we're gonna get the bamboo skewers out and slowly move that vine down onto that straw pillow to get it down onto the ground. And in between the furrows here, these rowways, I'm filling in with compost and a blend of special goodies. It's a new, new style this year, but so I'm filling in these crevices and then get that vine down. So tips on vine laying down do it when it's hot do it slow it could take a couple days don't rush it you really want to get it down and uh all right okay so uh, i hope you liked the video we're gonna put some more pictures of us actually getting the vine onto the ground and if you do like the videos you can check out more of our videos on our youtube channel like subscribe share uh, it helps us make more content, and uh, we apologize for our beginning making of the content as it's getting better. We hope to get better with it. And of course, check out our social media pages, uh, Hawaii Green Earth, on Facebook and Instagram. Well, I hope you guys liked it. Have a great day. Aloha from Hawaii.